here's what I did. I ran the git rm cached command on the file webconfig.php. I did that because I don't want that file to be tracked by my repository. I also added that file to my .git ignore file for this repository. Again, because I don't want this file called web forward slash config.php to be tracked by git, okay? I don't want it to be tracked by my repository. The reason I don't want it to be tracked by my repository is there is a lot of switcheroo stuff going on with that file. And git doesn't need to be tracking all the switcheroo stuff that is going on. So why is there a lot of switcheroo stuff going on with that file? That's what I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to explain it. I am adding an IP address to the config.php script so that it will allow me to run that script in the configuration, in the, you know, the way I have th my development environment set up. And I already explained what the problem was with that before. Now, the other problem is that every time I run composer install, it overwrites my config.php script. And then I end up having to edit that script again. I end up having to edit it to add that IP address again. Now, every time that happens, there is a risk that I will inadvertently commit the config.php script into my repository with that IP address missing because that IP address is not always on my mind every time I make a commit. So, to avoid all this headache, I just decided that config.php does not need to be tracked by my repository. That way, you know, when I have trouble accessing config.php in my browser and my development environment, I'll just go change that IP address. If it gets overwritten again when I run composer install, well, so be it. I'll just change it back later. But I don't want Git to be constantly adding and removing that change that I made to config.php. So the solution is to just ignore that file completely from my Git repository. This won't be a problem in my development environment because the config.php will be there because I'm going to be running composer install anyways to set up the development environment or any server environment that has the core symphony files in it. And config.php is a core symphony file. Okay, just like we're ignoring the vendor folder from our repository, we should also be ignoring the config.php script. It does no harm to ignore it, and it causes problems if I don't ignore it.